Okay, in this video, I'd like to continue on with my tutorials on electrostatics. This is video number 11, and I'm going to discuss the divergence of the electric field. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstories.com, and also if you'd like to find out news or updates on my posts, you can follow me on Twitter at adambg503. So the previous video of today's, which is relevant, is actually not in this section. It's in the section on vector calculus for electromagnetism. So now, in number 41, I discuss the Dirac delta function. And I'm talking about part 2 of that, which is video number 41. The proof I'm going to use, or the, uh, let's say, the result I'm going to use from that video is the following. The divergence of this particular vector field, so r hat divided by r squared, is 4 pi times the three-dimensional Dirac delta function. And we're going to need that in order to talk about the divergence of the electric field. Okay, so now let's just define the electric field in three dimensions. So, of course, it's a vector. And we define k as equal to 1 over, 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0. So if k outside is the integral of overall space, rho of r prime, d tau prime, divided by the separation vector squared, and we have the separation unit vector. Notice that the separation vector is r minus r prime. So the prime variables are for sources, and the unprimed variables are for tests of the detector. Okay? So you note that we're integrating with respect to the uh, the sources. Now we need to take the divergence of this. So it's better if we rewrite the uh, if you rewrite the equation as follows: k outside of the integral of the separation unit vector divided by the separation vector squared rho of r prime d tau prime. Note by the way that rho of r prime d tau prime is just equal to d uh, dq, the infinitesimal charge element. So if we take the divergence of this, we're going to get the divergence, we'll say, of all of that above. Now the interesting point here is that we can actually move the divergence or the the we'll say Nabla operator inside because you can swap, the, you can differentiate and integrate at um, different times. So you have k outside of the integral, and then we take the divergence of the separation unit vector divided by the separation unit ve the separation vector squared and we still have rho of r prime d tau prime all right so we know what the answer to this is that's namely 4 pi times the three dimensional Dirac delta function so we have the divergence of the electric field is equal to k which is 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0 then we're going to have the uh, we're going to have the integral of 4 pi times the three-dimensional direct delta function but with respect to separation vector rho of r prime d tau prime so of course the four pi's will, will cancel like that so close to the end what we're left with is that the divergence of the electric field is equal to 1 over epsilon the integral of the three-dimensional Dirac delta function with respect to the separation vector and more but we can rewrite the separation vector as r minus r prime and then we have rho of r prime d tau prime okay and all of this of course is going to integrate simply to one times the uh, one times rho of r so it's going to, you're going to get rho of r divided by epsilon zero now, in the in the video on the on Gauss's law for the electric field, we actually proved the divergence theorem, or we use, excuse me, the divergence theorem to get this form. So, of course, we can use um, we can use the divergence theorem to go backwards and actually get Gauss's law in integral form. So, what we find here is the divergence of the electric field is equal to rho over epsilon zero. Okay. So, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and you might also click on universityphysicstorials.com.